Well, we're just about ready to go here in uh, what should be an intriguing game in conditions which may prove testing. There are plenty of talking points around this game, but not the least of them is the snow that we have had. There were concerns that it could cause the match to be called off. I'm glad to report that hasn't been the case. The pitch has been well cleared, but the conditions will certainly add an extra dimension to the competition. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. And already we're underway here. Tries lifting it over. Hoists it forward. Gets into a dangerous position. Forward it goes. And that's been levered clear. And for a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Tries to get it forward quickly. Well, they would seem to be trying to expose the centre of that defence to, to runners. It makes for some terrific movement. It does, and they may be hit on the break because obviously it requires numbers forward to, to stretch them out. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. And that has been cleared. Makeda. Oh, sweet feet. Can he deliver? Incoming cross. Repelled by the keeper. Just brushed off the ball there. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Fired in. And the finish! Good effort first time. Well, I think his mind was made up the way that ball arrived, and I certainly admire his willingness to hit the volley. Good challenge, he just shoots! Goal! Panathinaikos! Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. A 1-0 lead established. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. And it's played forward. Gets it back. Has he found his man? And the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Goes direct to the front line. And it's the whistle for half time. So there you have it, a close fourth half of football. It still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now.
Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. Well, the action has already resumed here. Pauk don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. That's been drilled forward. Makeda gets into a dangerous position. Cuts it out. Tries to locate someone up front. behind for a corner kick time for a change in personnel and he just whacks it away great strength too strong for his opponent He's tried one. A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Played in with accuracy. Viorinha tries to get it forward quickly. Battles to win it back. Plays it out to the flank. Forward it goes. And he's onside. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. Pauk are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Tries to get it clear. Looks to bypass the midfield. Defending of the desperate variety. Hoists it forward. And that's been levered clear. Pauk are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And it's played forward. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Plays it out to the wing. And that is that. One goal settled it. A tense and exciting game that just got away. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? That's a fairly demoralising loss. They hardly threatened, and this was about as insipid as it comes. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very...